For most of her that five years, Hawaii Gufu had to walk for at least two days for every trip she made in search of water. She hails from Badana, an arid area with thorny shrubs that can cause serious injuries. It takes about six hours for a four-wheel drive vehicle to access the area, which is about 250 kilometers away from Isiolo town. The difficult terrain is made worse by high levels of insecurity that require security escort if one is to arrive safely. Levels of underdevelopment are evidently clear with water scarcity being the focal challenge. People can be seen guiding donkeys either to the water points or from the water points that are over 50 kilometers away from their settlements. Gufu is one of the women who risk her life in search of the very precious yet elusive commodity. At the age of 18, Sakina Guyo sat her Kenya Certificate of Primary Education in 2014. She had to repeat classes after missing school for many days. Kitu kama mbali 50 kilometer from home. Wakati tulikuwa tunaenda huko tunasumbuana na wanyama. Huko wanafukuza punda. Tukikuwa tunarudi, tulikuwa tunachoka. So, wakati tulikuwa tunaenda shule, tulikuwa tuna tulikuwa tunachafua nini nguo. Hakuna maji tunaosha, tunaoshia. Alafu mwili naye ni hivyo. Sakina and Gufu are, however, a very excited lot today. Water has transformed their lives immeasurably. Sisi wa mkina mama kwanza tumepata na kwa kutosha. Maana kuenda kutafuta maji usiku na kurudi kesho kuchoka sana yu kazi yote miyo shida yote imeisha. Tunapika kwa wakati, tunenda kushule kwa wakati. Tunatengeneza nyuma yetu vizuri, hakuna fumbi, watoto umetu. The biggest impact is especially on education for girls in the area. There is a lot of improvement even on the girl side, even my daughter. My daughter now she's standard eight. The performance in the year class with a six and a seven, a six, six and a five, six and a five. Now, in the performance in the class seven year last year, it's totally different. Before Safaricom Foundation started the 32 million shilling water project, most girls and boys stayed away from school. Wasiana Hasa Sana Sana Wale wa upper classes. Unakuto wengine wanakuja leo, kesho wanapotea. Ukiwauliza wameenda wapi, wanasema wanaenda kushota maji. Sasa maisha naansa kubadilika. Unakuta asubi, watoto wanakuja mapema. Saa kuminambili, saa moja, unakuta wanafusa wamefika. Saa hii ukiangalia, unakuta enrollment ya gali, siku hae. Around 208, 209, 010, we around 65 girls from class 1 to class, uh, to class 8. Now, we have 122 girls. We have a lot of girls. Waterborne diseases have also remarkably reduced. The rate of diseases is the same as the disease of the disease of the disease of the disease of the statistics of the disease of the disease of the According to our data, we have to According to Safaricom Foundation Senior Manager Operations Immaculate Otieno,
the greatest achievement for the nation is improving lives of the people in need. We partner with uh, implementing organizations such as Action Aid International Kenya and the Kenya Red Cross to take water projects to the very water insecure areas in the country. And this time, Isiolo County, specifically the Bandana community, was a beneficiary of a water project that began way back in the year 2010, where we uh, partnered together to drill a borehole and pipe water to bring the water closer to the community where the Badana people had settled.